Hi everyone. Hello. Assalamualaikum. So first of all, I would like to thank everyone for listening to these presentations of uh, the conference paper with the title Organizational Commitment and Intentions to Stay, the Role of Proud Obligations. I would like to introduce to you the co-authors of this conference paper, uh, which are Farhana Hani Mohsin, Hatija uh, Muhammad Saleh, Karunisa Isha, and Nohayati Mat Isa from University Tunku Abdul Rahman, Kampa Campus. And I am the presenter for this uh, conference. My name is Farhana Hani uh, Mohsin. So without further ado, I would like to begin presenting the conference paper. So let's get started with introductions first. The labour market remains severely disrupted as we press on to almost a year of the COVID-19 outbreak. It is challenging uh, for the employees to quit a job at the moment, uh, particularly with all the ambiguity during the COVID-19 pandemic. Since recruiting is stalled and the competition for vacancy is intense, the retention rate of employees would be influenced in particular by their intentions to stay. More recent attention has focused on the intention to stay among employees uh, in any industries worldwide due to COVID-19. Even before the pandemic happened, the employment environment has faced significant uncertainties making it unable to guarantee uh, employees steady employment. And with the uncertainty in the employment environment nowadays, uh, it is seen that people who are still employed during the pandemic, uh, the job insecurities and financial issues are associated with their intention to stay in the organizations. Short-term remedies such as uh, using unpaid leave can no longer be considered meaningful alternative. Uh, so it would be essential for businesses to incorporate a more sequential interventions rather than opting for reducing the employee's size. And it is also essential to examine the relationship associated with the intention to stay because uh, it provides uh, the benefit for managers to establish the necessary implementations that enables uh, the intentions to stay in the organizations and also to prelude uh, the cost of turnover among the employees. The managers and the supervisors need to know how the organizational commitment affect uh, employees' intentions to stay. And the role of well obligation is also assist, often associated uh, with uh, organizational commitment as it uh, as it utilizes the mechanism uh, to explain the exchange relationship between organizations and employees. So for this paper, uh, it will be based on the assumptions that organizational commitment will lead to intentions to stay, particularly when different levels of felt obligations influence the relationship. Uh, and then uh, this study uh, intends to verify that Organizational commitment significantly affect employees' intention to stay and the mediating and moderating role of felt obligations in the relationship. All right, now the next part is on literature review. For intention to stay, numerous studies have attempted to explain that employees' intention to stay has been a significant discussion in the management field. It involves the importance of talented employees to remain in an organization. Most uh, research on intention has been carried out by Eisen and Fishbein, 1980, and explained intention as a predetermined motivation for the actual behavior. As for Shanker, 2014, um, argued that intention itself is the primary determinant for the actual behavior, such as to quit or to stay, to perform or not to perform. This refers to employees' attitude of being attached to the organizations, their interests, and keen to keep working in the organizations, according to Shaw Gupta and Dallary, 2005. And Adelisio Silverman and Shaw, 1986, pointed out that more concern uh, should be given 
on intentions to stay rather than turnover itself, as whenever an employee has resigned, the organization has to incur the cost of recruiting and maintaining another employees. The next arrival is organizational commitment. Employees' organizational commitment can be considered as an employee's desire to remain in the organizations. This desire can be illustrated by the employee committing themselves to the organizations and complying with the organizational goals and values, according to Mayer and Allen, 1907. Uh, uh, it is also um, includes an emotional bond that the employee has towards the organizations. On the other hand, Malik 2020 also emphasizes that an employee's organizational commitment is triggered by the employee's sense of belonging to their organizations and concerns about the organizational uh, future. According to Mayer et al. 2002, organizational commitment can be classified into three core teams, namely effective commitment, continuance commitment, and also normative commitment. Effective commitment um, is uh, an employee's uh, emotional attachment with their participations in the organization and feeling themselves part of their organizations. As for normative commitment, uh, it refers to the employee's sense of responsibility to stay in the organizations. And lastly, continuance commitment is an awareness or perceived losses or benefits of the employees for leaving the organizations. The next variable is felt obligations. Besides the feeling of emotionally attached to the organizations, another aspect that has a strong relationship with an intention to stay is felt obligations. According to Eisenberger et al. 2001, felt obligation is a prescriptive belief regarding whether one should care about the organization's well-being and should help the organization reach its goal. According to Eisenberger et al. further, employees' withdrawal behavior, for example, uh, lateness and non-attendance, could be reduced through felt obligations in caring and supporting the organization. Kathleen 2017 suggests that employers should promote better uh, felt obligations among employees by providing distinct facilities so that the employees would feel the O the organizations for the extra benefits and must respond to it. Pile and Value 2020 uh, also suggests that uh, felt obligations was the developed conditions for the occurrence of the social exchange process between parties seeking to engage in a long-term relationship. In the next part, we are going to see on hypothesis development. The first one is on the relationship between organizational commitment and intentions to stay. Um, according to study by Bell and Sheridan 2020 in their study over general nurses during um, the COVID-19 pandemic shows that organizational commitment was the strongest predictor of nurses staying in nursing. The result also shows that the nurses' commitment to their organization is more significant than their specific feelings or satisfactions with their work. This result has led the respondent to have faith in the organization's goals and values and intend to continue or remain working in the organizations. Another study conducted by Noor et al. 2020 to the uh, executive and managers uh, of ICT companies in Malaysia. Um, this study shows that organizational commitment influence an employee's intentions uh, to stay in an organization. And another study by Reddit, Gregory and Rowe, 2017, um, conducted a, a study testing the three dimension of organizational commitment in the timeshare industry. And their results show that all the dimensions positively link to the intentions to stay. Uh, the effective commitment was found to have the strongest correlation followed by normative commitment and continuance commitment. All right, the next one is felt obligation as a mediator. 
In light of organizational support theory, perceived organizational support has shown a favorable influence on employees' behavior primarily because it gives the persons a sense of obligation to pay the organizations. According to Eisenberger, Pasolo, and Davis Lamastro, 1990. Since perceived organizational support uh, provides uh, uh, with a large number of tangible and immaterial resources, the reciprocity will establish a felt obligation to remain in the organizations. Employees um, react uh, to the organization's uh, favorable treatment by feeling obligated to care for the uh, organization's welfare and act on behalf of the organizations, thus uh, improving uh, positive attitudes and behavior. Employees um, who display uh, a high sense of obligations also concern themselves with the intent to devote themselves and they experience a strong attachment to it, according to Wickham and Salar, 2019. A possible um, reason for this was that employees must feel attached in the sense of social exchange before they would feel obliged to the organizations, um, which according to Pradesa, Jawood and Afandi, uh, 2019. To analyze the degree to which reciprocity characterize the relationship between organization commitment and intention to stay, uh, we evaluate the extent to which organizational commitment strengthened the employee's felt obligation, uh, which in turn affects employees' intentions to stay. The next one is felt obligation as a moderator. Felt obligations can be regarded as an essential aspect for social exchange between two parties who aim to develop and maintain a favorable reciprocal relationship progressively with time, which according to Powell and Valu 2020. Accordingly, in this study, uh, we speculate whether felt obligation has the capacity to strengthen the relationship between organizational commitment and intention to stay. Um, living a favorable social exchange relationship may result in a loss to employees uh, because it makes uh, the withdrawal from the organization personally costly, uh, which according to must, uh, most holder at all 2005. So as such, committed employees inst uh, instill uh, felt obligations to return the favor with desirable work attitudes and behaviors. We suggest that uh, employees with a high level of organizational commitment are more likely to raise their intention to stay because of their sense of obligations. Um, in contrast, um, those uh, with a low level of organizational commitment appear to have a low intention to stay because they feel uh, little obligations. So accordingly, uh, we put this moderating impact of the felt obligations between um, the organization commitment and the, uh, and the intention to stay. Based on hypothesis development discussed earlier, in this paper, we developed three hypotheses. The first hypothesis is the organizational commitment, effective commitment, continuance commitment, and normative commitment positively related to intention to stay. Hypothesis two, Felt obligation mediates the relationship between organizational commitment and intention to stay. And also, we develop hypothesis three, that is the direct relationship between organizational commitment and intention to stay is conditioned by felt obligations, such that this direct relationship is stronger at high level of felt obligations. Based on the discussions earlier, here is the research model developed for this study. As for conclusions, the current pandemic of COVID-19 has seriously impacted Malaysian economy, which lead to insecurity at work. Hence, um, this study should be reviewed to provide assistance and light for the management in facing the current uh, changing working situations. 
Um, this paper also suggests organizational commitment as deserving much more research and analysis to link with intentions to state. Um, in addition, um, the paper also provides guidelines on how felt obligation might have a moderating and mediating impact on organizational commitment as to significantly affect intention to state. Therefore, the research model proposed herewith in this paper is worth testing on um, the employment affected industries. So that is all for our presentations. Thank you so much for listening. Goodbye and Assalamualaikum.